First of all, let me say congratulations to our beautiful Inglewood City Council and staff. You guys have been doing one heck of a job. And I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of money being moved into this city. So some of you cats that are too old to respect our seniors up here, you need to take some advice. Get on board. I also want to take time to say that I worked with this wonderful paper for three years and a half, the Inglewood Today newspaper. I've been a part of Inglewood for over 50 years, and I'm telling you, from every district, I have a home in District 3, my mother's in District 1, and I, my father's in District 2. And I'm out there with that paper every week. I speak to people, some don't like what's going on in the paper, some do like, but it's our community paper. And it's all over the city, so I know that's, that's a fact. But here's my problem, two weeks ago, I was delivering papers here in the city, right back here at the library, and my car broke down, stopped. I knocked on the librarian door to the uh, supervisor, I have his name here, and asked him could I unload some papers till another car got here to pick those papers up. He said sure. He gave me his information today, which I passed on earlier. As a result of that, I've been told that I've lost my contract with the Inglewood Today paper because the city feels as though those papers were dumped and because of that, they need to go in another direction. Well, I have no problem with that, but I would like to know what steps did anyone take to even check where the papers came from? I was just told, my mother, which all of you guys know, is over here in the hospital about to go through heart surgery. And I've been dealing with this. And Mr. Brown, I have the utmost respect for. I don't care what anyone says. Mr. Brown is in our community, and he's a part of this community. So all these people that come up here, that da-da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da don't home. So I would like you guys to look into that, because my contract was to end this end of the year. But if you guys can get to the bottom of it, I'd like to continue to support Inglewood and keeping the word out to all of our residents, business owners, and I thank you for your time. Thank you, sir.